So welcome back and I hope you're enjoying my concept and my simple, simple, no geek speak, how to do it, simple, simple method. My objective is to make a total expert out of you, but you have to walk before you can run. Now in our previous video, we talked about the term untitled document. Now I happen to be using Firefox. You can use it ever browser you feel comfortable with. And I'm on the Google homepage. Now this incidentally, I said Google homepage. This is basically their index page because that's the homepage of that particular folder. Okay. So I'm going to paste the word that I copied untitled document. Now, you're going to find this very interesting. Okay. If I basically search for an untitled document, this is probably going to make your head hurt. 33.1 million people did not title their document. Now they named their file, obviously, otherwise it wouldn't be on the web, but the title is what appears up here. This is the title. Now, why is that important? Well, it's very important if you want people to find your site because guess what? Google uses what you put up here in your title as the way of finding your website. So why do you want a website that's an untitled document? Now, here is the ironic twist to this. Here's an Ivy League school. I've had friends from high school go to this school. Very expensive, very good school, by the way. But here's Dartmouth EDU, Dartmouth College person, published the page about the introduction to probability. So let's just click on this link for a second. You will see that this person did not title their document. It's untitled. They basically were either very lazy or so preoccupied. Now the irony to this, and the reason I bring up this page, is this is a page about probability. The probability of whoever created this page of creating of title their document is zero. <laughs> so they apparently, well, first of all, this is a really horrible looking website. Quite frankly, it is. It's not styled, it's horrible. I'm gonna just hit the back button on my browser and to share with you, all these people did not title their documents. Okay, here's Sandra uh, that didn't title her document. Now again, that means it's not gonna show up in a search engine. Now, obviously it shows up in a search engine if I, take, if I type in untitled document, okay? But in fact, here's a website actually called untitleddocument.org. <laughs> Everything is uncategorized and nothing has a name. That's pretty clever. I've never seen that before. So the title of the document is paramount to a successful website. So why are you building a website if somebody can't find it? So here is how important. And we're going to spend the next couple of minutes on exactly this. Here's how important it is to title your document. These people didn't, so it's not going to come up in the search engine. Well, again, it comes up when I type in untitled document, but that's probably not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to share with you how powerful it is and how important it is to title your document. Now, let's understand something. Once we get back into Dreamweaver, I'm going to share with you that each page should have its own unique title. So if you're going to have a page about, you know, Christine's favorite blueberry muffin recipe, what would the title of the page be? Well... How about Christine's homemade blueberry muffin recipe? That's not the name of the file. That's the title of the document's header that appears inside of your browser window. So I'm going to simply do this. I'm going to type in Dreamweaver class HTML5 classes. Now, I don't want to confuse you with that HTML5 right now, but I'm just going to type that word in there. Now, very important step here. The people over here paid to be here. The people here paid to be here. But who's actually appearing first? And this is not a can, this is not a trickery. I'm not here to trick you. you. Go to any web browser on Google. Now, I no offense to the other browsers like Yahoo and Bing, but quite frankly, I focus towards my the highest web search out there, which is Google. So if I just type in Dream for HTML5 classes, whose web page comes up first? Now, Every single one of it, this page, this page, this page are owned by me. If I click right here. This is one of my WordPress sites. Now, to be fair, I own about, you know, a big chunk of, I own a lot of websites for marketing purposes and everything else. Okay. So this is one of my websites and this comes up absolutely first in the world. The first page. These don't count because they paid to be there. Now, this is my Facebook page. This is one of my Facebook pages. There's me, Robert Farrell, my little face right there. 
Now, this particular page, quite frankly, I don't do much with, but yes, it comes up first in the search engine because this is the title of my page. Okay, and here's another, how to make a website on Dreamweaver. Well, if I click there, this takes you to all my training videos on YouTube. Okay, but more importantly, this is how people can find me. Okay, how cool is that? Because I titled my page correctly. So the title of the page is very, very important. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is take this one step further and I'm gonna put it in the word NYC because I have a training facility in New York City. So again, here's my Facebook page and here's my bootcamp page and here's a bunch of other websites that I own doing training in New York City. And every page in here, this is my page, this is my website, etc., etc. Now this is not a slick advertisement for my web training. I'm just sharing with you how important it is to title the page. The page title is Paramount to a Successful Website. So here's a good example of this. I'm gonna type in one of my websites which is basically my website that I use to teach people in person. You're very lucky because you're learning online and you're not paying me $250 an hour. And yes, people pay me $250 an hour to sit with me one-on-one -on -one in New York City and learn how to do this. So I'm gonna type it in my website here, at adobetrainingclasses.com. Now this website, I've been so busy and so preoccupied with offering all these great courses on Udemy, I actually haven't had time to update this. This is actually 26 years, and also I haven't updated it to the new software program, because quite frankly, I've been busy with teaching on Udemy. But what I wanna share with you is what is the title of this page? Well, right there, very important to take note on. Plain old simple English, this is the title of my page. Now you can put up to 128 characters in there before Google thinks you're playing games with their search engine. So go ahead and put as many words and these are point old simple words with commas or whatever you wanna put in there. Now, notice for the title of this page, I have redundancies, which means I have NYC, I have Manhattan, I have New York City, I have courses, training, classes, training courses tutoring. Well, why do I have these redundancies? Well, as great as I am at search engine optimization and web design and development, and more importantly, teaching, one thing I'm not good at is psychic ability. So I can't assume that everybody is looking for CS Adobe CS6 training. They might be looking for CS6 tutoring or courses, or they might be looking for training courses in Manhattan as opposed to New York City. So I cover my bases by putting in redundancies in the title of my page. Now, before we go back in the Dreamweaver, I just wanna share a couple of other things for you. Once I go into my different pages, here's my Dreamweaver page for my Dreamweaver course. Notice the title of the page changes with the concept, the content of the page. So as an example, a Dreamweaver page is gonna have Dreamweaver title information. A Photoshop web page is gonna have Photoshop title information, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe more specific things like color correcting and retouching and effects, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you can put up to 128 characters up here and knock yourself out. So the title of the page is Paramount to a successful website. So we're now gonna go back into Dreamweaver and title our page. And we'll do that in our next video and I'll share with you some more concepts.